All right, so in this video, we're gonna combine two images together to make it look like the glass is floating. So we have our base image, which is this one, which or not base image, our stem image, which is this one. And then this is gonna be our base image. So we basically need to cover up that and the arm. So we are gonna go into Photoshop. I'll show you guys how to also drag one photo into another. So we have the move tool. I'm going to take the background image or the stem image, click and hold, 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 hover over the tab. The next picture will highlight and then drag and drop. So that whole time I did not let go. Um, and we have two pictures and one. Now we need to sort of align the stem. So what I'm going to do is change the opacity, turn it down. And if you click on show transform controls, um, the bounding box will come up and I'm just gonna hover outside the corners and I'm gonna rotate it into place. And as long as you didn't move around too much, um, you shouldn't have to resize it really. And I'm just trying to line that. That actually lines up pretty well. Um, so now I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard to apply my transformation. You could also hit the check mark up here. And then let's turn that opacity back. So now we want to blend those two together. So I'm gonna, let's see. So I want that part. So I'm gonna get the um, lasso tool. You can use any of the selection tools, polygonal lasso. Let's use a regular lasso. I'm gonna feather it 50% or 50 pixels. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and draw what part I want to sort of blend. I don't want more than that. Drag it over and then I'm gonna let go and it'll finish. So I have that part. I might erase some of it later, we'll see. Um, because we had to rotate the picture, the colors and the values of the background aren't gonna fully match. So we're gonna have to do some magic. Um, so let's go ahead and hit layer mask. And then let's turn the opacity up to see what we're working with. Um, so that's not too bad. However, there's an arm behind it, which is gonna be problematic. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, let's go ahead and work on the background layer. I'm gonna right click and duplicate just in case I screw it up. So I have, this is my retouch and honestly my ar the arm situation is gonna be a little tricky so i'm actually going to try to get rid of some of it so i can have more room to blend so what i what i'm going to do is make a selection again outside of the arm i'm going to get close here and then let go so i have the selection feathered again and then i'm going to do a content aware fill so if you go to edit content aware fill it is going to try and fill in that area. I want to minus. So basically you can go over to this brush and you're saying, I don't want you to get this texture because that is not what I want to copy. I don't want that texture. I don't want the hand texture to be copied. You're saying, what do you want the computer? What kind of texture and values are you trying to get the computer to emulate? There we go. And I also don't want this stuff down here. All right, so then you take a look, it should update over there. Um, it does have some feathering over there, which is not ideal. Um, yeah, there we go, it's updating. There we go. And then I think if we select, we can actually add to our selection. Let's see if it'll add to get rid of that. And then we can add a little bit more here. All right. All right, that's filling in pretty good. We can go back in. So let's hit apply. All right, so once you hit apply and then okay, um, you're left with your retouch from there and it's on a separate layer. Um, so what I can do is click on that, hold down shift, click on the retouch and merge those layers. So they're in one. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little um, patch tool. So it's 
J, um, it looks like a little patch sewn on. I'm going to just try to um, fix some of that up. So I click on that and I'm going to drag it over there and see what it does. It's thinking real hard. That worked pretty well. Make sure that you're on content aware or you may want to try normal. Let's see what normal just kind of blurs things out. So we're just trying to like blend it a little just to give us a bigger area to work with so things look peachy keen. All right. There we got that little spot. We're just trying to blend it out. So switching between normal and content aware, you can just kind of see like what your options are. That looks weird. Let's get rid of that. Like I said, content aware is going to try to match, whereas normal is going to blur. That looks not good. Let's try content aware. So it's a little bit of trial and error here. Um, so that's pretty good. We just want to get rid of some of that so we can kind of blend it out. All right, so let's take that. Um, and then we're going to go in with um, our layer mask and just kind of blend it. So I'm on my layer mask. Um, there's other ways you could have, you know, I don't know, there's a lot of ways to blend them together, but this is starting to look good. Um, we can see that there is some overlap here. So let's just go ahead with our brush tool. We're going to blend them together manually. So I'm going to make the size a lot larger of my brush. B is brush. Hardness is zero because we don't want to um, have a hard edge. And then I turned my opacity down. So maybe try like 20% opacity. Um, what we're doing is we're going to be hiding some of this and blending it in. So I selected black. Um, so hit D on the keyboard to get default black and white. And then you can switch the arrows or tap X to bring black. Now we're just going to softly blend these together by just painting over them and trying to create like a transition here that is seamless so that the photos blend together. So that the values blend. And we're really, I really want to get rid of that. And then here we have an issue as well with the stem. So we may want to just paint some of that back. Um, and if you want to change the opacity to be stronger in that area, so you can see right through, there you go. And you just want to watch right there, that little transition, we might need to paint it back. So tap X on the keyboard, make a smaller brush and you can just paint that right back. There we go. So now we have a floating glass. So we have, what photos do we have? We have this, so we retouched to paint in some of that background. So we have more spot to blend together. Um, so that's the same as that, except the arms missing. And then I blended that on top. So this is what we're looking at. This is the part. And sometimes it's good to actually even go in here. Oops, X on the keyboard and just bring some of that back. All right, and then I'm gonna turn that back on. You're gonna see that transition. I would probably still play with this to make it blend better. So you can take some brushes, use black and white to blend it, change the opacity, but essentially you're done. Yay, you made a floating glass from two photos. Good job. Pat yourself on the back.